Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. So over the last few months, we ended up getting caught up with all our timber work. We got a few new stuff. We got a bunch of new stuff bought. Actually, when I ended last episode, I didn't check the used market out till towards the end of the day. And we actually picked up a few items yesterday. So I brought them home yesterday, last night. So we'll check those out. Uh, the plan for today is we're actually going to get most of our... I'm going to try to get most of our groundwork today. We're going to get some slurry hauled. We're going to get the last field applied with all our solid manure and slurry. But I figure we'll start the day off by showing what we picked up yesterday. So there is actually a cultivator mod I've had for a while. And it was on the used market. So we now got two cultivators. And we bought ourselves a Wilrich one. And this, I think we're going to be pretty happy with this thing. I know back in the day when I worked at home, we always had a Wilrich cultivator when we first started out, at least when I was first growing up, I should say. And this, we covered a lot of acres with one of these. In fact, I know that we, one of the gentlemen I used to work for, he had like two or three Wilriches for his equipment, and we... I covered a lot of acres for him, running these for him. But we got one of these now, so we got a little bit of bigger cultivator. And we, we're still keeping our Alice one, just because I'm thinking that if we get everything done right, we can hook up two tractors and go go to town with the, with the cultivators, actually. I think this is what we'll, start, we'll get started this morning. We'll, while we go look at the other item, because I did make another purchase of another item yesterday as well before we ended the series. I ended up selling all the sil si putting all the silage we have into the BGA to provide some power for us and sell whatever leftover power we had. Get this pulled out of here and we'll get this fixed up here quick too as well. But we we picked up quite a few items yesterday bef bef before we well, or last month I should say before we ended the episode. Uh, one of the things we got to do today is we got to mix. We actually got to mix some more TMR for the cattle. I think it's going to become more of a daily thing now, which is kind of a little bit, a little bit interesting, but a little bit. Oh, what's the other word? Concerning. I think we could probably almost get by not making it every day, but it'll be a little bit more of a challenge. I know the. Beef cattle are still doing fine yet, so I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna snag one bale out of here. Of hay and straw. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And let's get them because I also noticed that we need to get the barn batted again, so we're gonna get these get them started with this. I I'm not plant so right now, I think we're going to end up keeping that hay field for now. I think we might actually go out. I think we the first season we might, or first cutting I should say, we might actually bale it because we're starting to burn through the bales pretty quickly now. But depending how soon we get all our money made as well as the other thing. I remember, did I start this up? I did not. So let's get this started as well. There we go. We'll get we'll get the that going right away, and we'll get the get the cattle bedded, blah, cattle bedded here quickly. But we also cleaned out all of our planks last month as well. If you didn't see that, so we had we got quite a bit of money, not not near as much as we probably could have. But I there was a bunch of purchases I wanted to get done, and I guess if you didn't notice. I finally got our slurry extension for the barn done as well, so we actually don't really have to worry about slurry storage anymore as much. We still will eventually if we don't keep ahead of it, but as of right now, we got more than enough storage for for all our slurry the cattle will be producing. So we're sitting pretty good that we're sitting pretty good all around this year with everything we upgraded to and such, and all the new buildings we bought for the farm. So. So we actually, so if you see there, we got 27,000 liters, and I know it was like only like 50 or 60, so we have more than enough space for a while for our cattle for for everything. I guess we didn't really need to mix TMR, do more TMR. I guess it's just that the total capacity is a little small on the barn, but 
that's okay. Turn this off. Take what we have here. Oh. I think tomorrow we'll worry about making more making more stuff for the cattle up and for the Angus up on the pasture. But we also I also upgraded us to a bigger drill. And we got ourselves a Great Plains drill now. And I think we're gonna be much happier with this drill. The only issue is is that we can't no till plant with it, which is not the biggest deal in the world, but you know, it's it's not gonna kill us in the end, but today's plan is we're gonna shut this off and leave it here. Just cause I think I think we'll use the Kubota on that just because we need the white for the Alice. The white has a little more power for pulling the Alice around. So what I think the plan plan for today is we're gonna get the hay field lined for sure at some point. Um, I don't know why I'm backing up that. I just want to take these duels off here, so that way it's a little easier on us for when we're hauling. Oh, for when we're hauling manure today, because we're going to get all our solid manure hauled today. And whatever we have left over on that one field, we're just going to get the white hooked up to the slurry tanker here. And get everything, get the rest of our slurry applied, so... That's kind of what we're temporarily planning for now. I might I might hit a few extra fields with lime as well today. Just so that way we can keep getting rid of that stuff. And if we if we hit some of our fields now with lime, that way when next season rolls around we won't have near as much to hit we have to hit up with lime either. But we'll we'll see what happens and see what we have time for today, because I, I know last season we ended up spending almost a good portion of two episodes just trying to get everything emptied out but we also don't have near as much going on so it looks like we'll have about two loads of solid manure maybe so we might not even be able to get all our slur slurry out either but while that's loading we'll get, jump into the white here we'll get that brought home with the slurry tanker gate here. I really li like how this turned out. Like I said, I think I might eventually put a building here, but I just wanted to hold off and see how everything's still handling yet. I did a recent update on my graphics card, and it seems like everything's running a little bit more smoothly now as well, so. But we'll see what happens. I think I'll, since I have a lot of the equipment put away and such, there's not as much going on for detail-wise. But... We ended up acquiring more equipment this year than we had in the previous year, so. The one thing I did not upgrade, I decided not to upgrade was our sprayer yet. I'm still, I'm probably going to keep that sprayer for one more season, maybe. And I'm going to hope that, oh, I'm hoping that we can at least, oh, I'm hoping I can at least find, like, the perfect perfect sprayer mod in my eyes, so to speak, for the farm. Or at least something a li just a little bit older, but it is a pull another pull type sprayer. But we'll see if I get that lucky. Like I said, I'm s like I said last episode, I'm very fortunate with the combine mod coming up when it did, just because it was the perfect style combine I was looking for for the series. But I don't, not th I don't think we'll be that lucky with a sp pull behind sprayer. It's kind of kind of harder finding a pull behind, older pull behind sprayer mod, so to speak. But let's get this opened up here. I don't even know if we're going to... Oh, what's... Oh. Oop. I forgot that this shoots out the right, not on the left-hand side. I'm, I'm kind of used to our own one at home, so out of instinct, I thought I had to go the other direction. But we'll... We're going to get every, all this manure hauled today. And we're going to we're going to start working. We're going to get try to get all our groundwork today as well cuz we got like I said next month we're going to have quite a bit of planting to do. We got we'll have to all our corn we'll have to get in and then we're going to have all that sorghum we're going to have to get in as well cuz we're going to like I said last year, we're going to do sorghum this year. 
give ourselves something a little different to tr something else to do basically yeah something else to a new little bit of different varieties of crop this year and I think it'll work out perfectly because right like I said last episode we're gonna just go straight into planting canola right afterwards even if we if we're a month behind and I know it's gonna be right during like our hay cutting season and even if we have to skip one hay cutting I think we'll be fine for the most part uh, I if we get enough money thrown together I think we might even try to um we might even try to put together another plot of land and that would be if we can do that that would be actually a good way for us to get rid of a, a little bit of our excess manure we have right now or slurry I should say and I think I think what I decided ultimately with this cattle situation I think when we get another month closer I think we're gonna sell off six of the older cattle and then we can at least keep cycling somewhat cycling them out and maybe we can get a rhythm going to where we can keep cycling them out at a good rate I don't think right now that we're gonna be able to get all our solid manure haul let alone any of the slurry we just loaded up unfortunately so I might I might put a li I might put that tank of slurry into the BGA just so it doesn't sit on the spreader and I th that'll be the only time I ever do that is just to get that spreader get that cleaned out the slurry tanker just because we don't want to leave the manure sitting on there sitting on there causing rust and stuff and eating through the tank itself because believe it or not just the natural manure is hard on equipment when it's just sitting there stuck to it for over long periods of time but that's kind of the plan we have set up for ourselves today I think we're gonna jump into the time lapse here and we'll see you guys in a bit
closing time the bar is almost empty it's me the bartender and the piano man the last call for alcohol has come and gone hey buddy time to go home Sounds like a master plan It's just a Outside the night is warm and quiet. I hear the neon signs and the street lights buzz. The lovers, the one night stands, and the ones who buy it have all put to rest one more day's fun. All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. It's a little bit of a longer one, but I wanted to get all the cultivating knocked out today, and that way we can go in the next few months not really have to worry about getting cultivating done at all. I think buying this used cultivator off the market was a very good investment. It's it's helped cut back on a lot of work for the farm, and we're when we start getting more ground here, it's going to... It's going to pay off in the long scheme of things as well. The only thing I issue, foreseeable issue I have is that we might have to start using uh, John Deere as well to help with cultivating when we start getting to planting and such. But we'll see what happens, what happens along the way. There is one more tractor I would like to buy for the farm, but it's something I don't want to get quite yet. It's, I kind of want to wait a little bit down the road before we get to that point. But we're just going to pull this all all in here but I am I am just really ex really excited for the next month because we got we got two new pieces of equipment to use oh shoot I forgot about the fertilizer let's move that inside quick because I don't think I don't know if we'll ever be able to get this all used up like I hope but I think we'll try at some point just to get rid of it all oh don't want to do that. And we... That works for me for now. But it looks like... I just kind of take an inventory here. Two bags of seed yet. One tank of liquid. Fertilizer and tank of herbicide. So I... Th just taking a little bit of in quick inventory here. So I'm guessing I'll need at least... One thing of herbicide. Let's get this stuff bought now or I'll, I'll lose track of it. We'll pick it up tomorrow tomorrow when we start the next day so I think we'll buy four bags of seed I think should be enough and what else did we need oh yeah one tank of herbicide I think should be enough for the farm this year but let's get this part back over here so that way we can wash it so I was thinking I think we might to help with everything up in the yard here I think we might store the two cultivators off off in the BGA as well since we won't be using them as much and then we can kind of just park them in the far back corner of that building and not have to really worry about them but for now we're going to drop that off here we'll get this hooked up to the planter we're going to put the 78 on the Great Plains drill and we're going to use that to be drilling tomorrow so so that's that's the plan right now we'll we'll end up taking the semi the semi trailer and flatbed to town to get the all their seed needs yeah but the th the one thing I'm kind of regretting is I kind of wish I hung on to that little flatbed trailer for the pickup because that'd be a lot handier to use versus everything else we got for hauling seed around, but it'll be fine. It'll, 
It'll be an exciting day tomorrow because we'll have this. We'll be breaking in as well as that drill. I think we'll probably spend most of the time drilling ourselves, to be honest with you, just because we have a bunch of smaller fields. And we'll probably start to help our way out back on the biggest field in tw on the bigger field in 27. But anyways, this is where we're going to end the episode today. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date in the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching.